Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. Today we're making Fan Chie Dun Niu Nan, beef stew with tomato. This is one of those recipes that you cook once, eat all week, and it's so easy to prepare. Everybody loves it. So let's get started. We will use a large amount of tomato in this recipe. Make a slight cross mark on the bottom of the tomato by using a sharp little blade. Pour in some boiling hot water. The water amount should be just enough to cover all the tomatoes. Let them sit in the bath for 30 seconds. You can test it by trying to peel it. If you see the skin comes off easily, take them out. A lot of people will put them in a nice bath to stop the cooking process. That is good for making a salad because you don't want your tomato to be soft and mushy. But today, we are making stew, so no need to put them in ice bath. Remove the hard stem. Roughly cut the tomatoes into big chunks like that. One medium-sized onion. Finally dice it. Besides that, I like to add some carrots. You can also use potato or turnip radish. This is beef chuck roast. I'm using it because it's great for braising, full of flavors, and the price is affordable. You can also use brisket, beef short ribs, beef shank. Depends on what you use, the cooking time might be different. Cut the beef into one and a half inches cubes. Don't cut it too small because it does shrink a little bit after you cook it. Add a generous amount of cooking oil into the cast iron pot. Give it a swirl to let the oil cover the entire bottom. Adding the beef one by one. You want to hear the sizzling sound. That means the pot is hot. By the way, make sure your beef is nice and dry, otherwise it will affect the browning process. In a few minutes, you can check the color if you see that the beef is nicely seared, you can flip them over and brown the other side. Once you get enough brown surfaces, you can take all the beef out. In the same pot, we will toss in some minced garlic and the diced onion. On the side here, I got two pieces of star anise, three pieces of bay leaves, one cinnamon stick, and a piece of dried orange peel. It has a strong citrus flavor and it goes really good with beef. If you don't have it, you can use fresh orange peel. Add the spices to the pot. Stir with the garlic and the onion over medium heat. The moisture from the onion will help to deglaze the pot. All those charred bits will be dissolved and mixed into the stew eventually. When the onion is soft and translucent, you can add the tomato paste. 5 tablespoons is about half of this can. Optionally, add 1.5 tablespoon of zhu hou paste. This is what I'm using. It's a Cantonese seasoning that we often use to make beef stew. It adds a nice complexity to the dish. If you don't have it, don't worry, because it's optional. Or, if you don't mind the dish being a bit spicy, you can use Sichuan dou ban jiang. Stir everything over medium-low heat. Use your spatula to distribute the tomato paste and the zhu hou paste. Toss in the tomato chunks. Personal preference. I like to save a little bit tomato to add at the end, just so the final dish will have some tomato pieces that you can eat on. Keep stirring for a minute. Then introduce the beef back into the pot. At this point, the tomato is quite chunky. There is not that much liquid in the pot. Don't worry, keep the heat at medium low, put on the lid, wait for a couple of minutes. The pot should come to a boil. Now you can see that there is more liquid being pulled out from the tomatoes. Stir it just to make sure nothing is stuck on the bottom. That could happen if your heat is too high. Then we're gonna season it with salt and sugar. Be sure to taste and adjust the flavor. I used 2.5 teaspoons of salt and 1 tablespoon of sugar in total. Turn the heat to the lowest and simmer this for 2 hours. Again, you might need to adjust the cooking time depends on what cut of beef you are using. 30 minutes before it's done, adding the carrot chunks. 
As you can see, all the tomatoes and onion are melted into this rich, flavorful soup. Cover the lid and wait for the carrot to be done. Before serving, add the remaining tomatoes. They can be eaten raw, so you don't need to cook them at all. Just stir and give it a final taste to make sure the flavor is right. And you are done. We did not add any water or stock to this recipe. The liquid comes from the ingredient itself, which means the soup is where all the flavors concentrate together. It's just so savory and hearty. I know it is time consuming, but the actual prep time is not that much. You can cook this on the weekend, then you have it for the whole week. Serve it with rice, noodles, quinoa. You can even be creative. Cook beef and chicken thigh together in the same pot. Then you have two different kinds of meat to eat for the week. I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know how it goes. As always, you can click the link in the description and find the printable recipe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.